Sorry, my face is blue because I've got the light on. It's a little bit of a strange thing. Anyway, um, my <laughs> it's quite bizarre today. I went over to my parents' house to reinstall my mum's antivirus and update some software for her and give her some photos that I'd taken. And I go on about New World Old Auntie, what's his name stuff, 2012 and all this crap all the time. My parents kind of used to think I was mad, but now I don't. Anyway, my dad mentioned this to me, and my dad to mention something like this to me was just like, oh my god, that's really weird, because you would just tell me to stop smoking pot. Um, well, my mum, my mum read it as well, and um, they brought me this bit, of, I've got a bit of paper here, um, and you can see the title, title, yeah, a second son is on the way. So uh, this was in a local newspaper, I believe, well, I don't think it was in a Sunday newspaper, I'm not sure what news, but it does, I can't see. Uh, overdose. I think it's from a, might even be from a national paper. I don't know. I don't know, but it's from a paper. Anyway, a second son is on the way. Our planet could soon have a second son for at least a week or two. The cosmic phenomenon will happen when one of the brightest stars in the night sky explodes into a supernova. And it was claimed yesterday the most stunning light show in the planet's history could be played out later this year. Earth will undoubtedly have a front row seat when the dying red supergiant star Beetle Guys finally blows itself into oblivion. The explosion will be so bright that even through the star in Orion's constellation is 640 light years away, it will still turn night into day and appear like there's two suns in the sky for a week for, for a oh few my weeks. God, you have the only real debate is over exactly when it will happen. In stellar terms, Beetle Guys is predicted to crash and burn in the very near future. However, Brad Carter, Senior Lecturer of Physics of the University of Southern Queensland in Australia, said yesterday that means the galactic bars could happen before 2012 or any time over the next million years. Now you can see the way that they've gone, it could happen before, to, before 2012. Or it could happen over the next billion years. That's your way of sort of like, oh yeah, whatever, distraction. This is, I'm not sure what, because I said to my mum, mm, that's a bit strange. That's a very close to the so-called phenomenon that's supposed to be going on in the world, uh, you know, Planet X and all that. And I said that there's something a bit amiss to this. Now, is this just, I, I, I don't know what paper it is. It doesn't. I reckon it's a national paper, but Beetle Guys, Beetle Guys is, let's, let's now head over to the star chart and find Beetle Guys, because there it is, Beetle Guys. Now, is it me or is part of the sky missing here? I think it's this side that's missing. Yes, it is because there's the funny this side. Part they've blocked out part of the sky on Google Earth here, and there's Beetle Guys where this so-called supernova, fantastic, massive explosion is supposed to be happening. I'm sorry, centre of the universe. Notice that centre. Look, dead fucking centre. Let's get up here, Beetle Guys, dead centre. It's coming from the centre of the universe. Conveniently, it's where the black part of the sky on Orion's gone, and um, could arrive, might not arrive. That's to me some kind of um. Is it? Is it? Is it a shooting gun? A shooting gun? A smoking gun? What is it? What is it? Come on, thoughts, people. We need some insight on this because this is a bit fucking weird. Okay. Um. Yeah. Peace, love, and light. Bye. Next, we have another kind. Of